Hey, it's Peter here for Lyratron, and I'm going to teach you how to play the air harp. Uh, now, before I get started, I should probably mention a little bit about the philosophy behind why I designed the air harp. Uh, essentially, the air harp is a tool for playing chords. Um, you pick which chord you'd like to play uh, with these four buttons with your, with your left hand, uh, and then you strum the chord uh, in the air with your free hand. Um, it's a very simplistic interface, it has a pretty quick learning curve, and uh, it'll get you going with music pretty fast. Uh, now, let me just talk a little bit about the chords that uh, you'll be playing with Air Harp. Uh, if you've seen a, a piano keyboard, uh, you know that it has white keys and, and it has black keys. If you ignore the black keys for a minute and just look at the white keys, uh, these are the keys that are diatonic to the, to the uh, key of C. So, uh, you're familiar with the C scale. Uh, it doesn't use any black keys. Now, if you make chords in, the, in, those, in, in that key, using those, those notes, uh, the, the chords that you're going to make are C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, and there's C major again. Um, and those are pretty much the chords that you would be playing uh, if you were playing a song in the key of C major. If you want to arpeggiate the chords to make them a little more interesting, arpeggiation just means playing the notes individually like this. And that's what the air harp does fairly easily. Some chords are easier to play like that uh, arpeggiated on a keyboard than others. Um, a guitar just you know, for the sake of for the sake of argument here, um, playing a C major chord on the guitar would look something like like this. The arpeggiation, the strumming, is fairly easy, uh, but the fingering over here is fairly difficult on the guitar. It does take a a, a certain modicum of skill. Um, and certainly, with the air harp, uh, the learning curve is, is quicker. Um, now, how do we then uh, go through the chords that we're going to play? Well, now here's the logic of the layout of the, of the air harp. Um, these buttons here, these three buttons, these would be your, your uh, index finger, your middle finger, and your ring finger. Those are the chord select buttons. The pinky button is the modifier, uh, and that what that does is that flips the mood of the chord from major to minor, or vice versa. So, uh, with the chord select buttons here, uh, there's a one, a two, and a four button, and these add together. They're additive. It's a it's a binary uh, counting system. So one, like so. Uh, uh, would add to two, this is two, to make three. So if you remember earlier, we were counting up on the, on the scale. One, two, three. And those were the chords that I just played. C major, D minor, E minor. So with the air harp, you can literally just, using binary addition, you can count your way up the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And those are the diatonic chords in the key of C major. It's just the same as if you made a, a triad with your, with your fingers and just literally just moved it uh, right on up the keyboard. Um, now, those are the chords that are going to sound good together when you're playing a song that is in the key of C major. But every so often you're going to want to use chords that are outside of that key. And that's where the fourth button comes in. The fourth button will flip the mood of the chord. The mood uh, it refers to the majorness, the minorness, you know, the augmentedness or the diminishedness of the chord. <coughs> it, it will flip that to being uh, the opposite of what it was. So C major is default uh, in the key of C major for one. Well, if you press the modifier at the same time, 
you get C minor. And uh, you will find that, that this feature is very useful when you're playing anything from Baroque arias to Beatles songs, because a lot of them involve uh, these modulations where you're flipping the mood of certain chords. It makes a nice effect. Um, the, the transpose button is the fifth button on here. You're probably not going to use it very much, but you'll definitely want to use it if you want to play in a key other than the key of C major or its relative minor, A minor. So, um, Sam playing... Oh, Shenandoah, I long to hear you. Then I decide, you know, that's a little low for my range, so I press this button a few times. Oh, Shenandoah, I long to hear you. And, and so forth. I can just keep going up. Oh, Shenandoah, I long to hear you away. So that's how to play the air harp. Um, I'm going to make some songs on this thing. Hopefully get someone other than me to sing them. But uh, I will be putting together an, uh, an air harp book of songs for you guys so that you will not be uh, completely at a loss for things to play. Because... Um, the way I see it, this is a system, you know, and, and uh, the system has to include the human element. You know, what is, uh, what are you going to use the air harp for? And uh, that is very much a part of, of my plan for this thing, is develop a repertoire uh, for it that, that you can enjoy. Anyway, this is Peter here for Lyrotron, and uh, you'll be seeing more soon.